Hello Year 5 and welcome to Maths. We are going to be um, talking about area today but first of all I'd like you to make sure that you are in a quiet calm place because you'll need to concentrate and that you have everything that you need so perhaps the printout of the work and if you don't have that that's okay um, just to make sure you have paper either squared or lined or plain and of course the pencil. So you can pause this to get that. Great, and welcome back. So the first thing that I would like you to do is to complete the do now. Uh, if you cast your minds back to before the break, we did perimeter, which was adding up the sides of a shape. I'd like you to add um, that and calculate the perimeter of these two shapes. Please pause and then um, I'll give you the answer um, when you have unpaused and completed. Fantastic, so welcome back. And this is the answer to the do now. Uh, we have 16 centimetres and 22 centimetres. Great. So today we're going to be calculating the area of squares, triangles and rectilinear shapes. Rectilinear means um, shapes made out of straight lines. So what is area? Well, area is the total space inside a shape. So this is the area of this shape. Now we can count the area of this shape by counting each individual square and when we do that we're going to place a dot just so that we know that we've counted that um, square. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the area of this shape is 20 squares. Now, um, here we go. Here are our steps to success. We're going to first of all count all the squares and when we do we're going to place a dot in the middle. Um, and then we're going to write the unit of measurement. I'm just going to cross this out because we don't need that quite yet. So can you please calculate these, uh, the area of the, the shapes? The first one that we're going to do is this. We're going to count all of the squares and we're going to place a dot in the middle of each square that we've counted. So count with me. One, two, three, four. So the area of this shape is four squares. Okay, um, next, what's the first step to success for counting the area or calculating the area? Great, we're going to count all of the squares and how do we know that we've counted them? You're absolutely right, we're going to put a, a dot in the middle of them. Great, so let's count together. One, two, three, four. That's four and what's our third step to success? Our measurement, that's right. So what what do we have squares excellent next let's see if you can do this all by yourself um shout out the answer when you know it go okay let's do that together number one count the squares and we're going to put dots when we've counted them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Excellent, and our measurement is good, squares. Last one. Have you found the area? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So we have twenty-one and the measurement. Thank you for that. Great. Let's take a look at these here. So they're exactly the same shapes. Um, here we're going to count the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we know that this is 21 squares. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but there were seven squares going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So we're seven columns. And then we have three rows. One, two, three. Now, if we were to take those two, seven, and we multiply them times three, the answer is 21. Absolutely. Now here, we've actually got a measurement. Instead of just squares, we've got centimetres. And when we have measurements, then we also put centimeter squared with a tiny two there so um let's see if you can calculate the perimeter of these two shapes you can use either method you can either count the squares or you can um multiply the sides the columns and the rows it's up to you. I'll give you 30 seconds to calculate uh, the first one. Or perhaps 15. OK, so let's see what the answer was. We could either do 7 multiplied by 2 equals 14 centimeter squared that's right or we can count the dot uh the squares one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen which gives us the same answer now here hmm we only seem to have one side the measurement of one side which is three centimeters however what shape is this yeah you're right it is a square what do we know about squares they have equal sides. So if I know that this side is three, then I know that this side is three. So I'm going to then multiply my two sides. Three times three equals, good. And our measurement is, oh, sorry, a centimeter. Don't forget the teeny tiny, teeny tiny two. Great. Right, let's take a look at this. Hmm, how much of the shape is shaded. So here we have one square, but it's been divided into two triangles. And you can see that half of it is shaded. Now you can say half, but we also write it as 0 0.5 if we're using decimals. Okay, so half is equal to 0 0.5. So I know that actually two triangles in one square is equal to one. I'm going to count the area of this shape. I know that those two triangles equal one. We've got another two, so this is actually two squares. What is the area of this triangle? Tell me. Absolutely, it's one square because we know that two small triangles in one square equals one. Hmm, what about this one? Yeah, absolutely, you're right. So we have one square here, I'm going to place a dot, and then we have two triangles. So that equals two squares. What about this one? Good. One, two, three, four, and a half. Can you remember how we write half using decimal? Good. Point 0.5. And let's not forget our unit of measurement, which is squares. So, um, next, we're going to calculate... Oops, sorry. We're going to calculate... Um, rectilinear shapes, the area of rectilinear shapes. I'm just going to cross that out because that's not a non-rectilinear shape. Okay, let's take a look at our steps of success. We're going to find rectangles and count the area. We're going to place a dot in the middle once counted. We're then going to, once we found all rectangles, we're going to count the remaining uh, whole and half squares. And then we're going to remember to write the unit of measurement. Again, if it, has a, um, if it has a unit of measurement, then we write squared. In this case, we don't. So we're just going to write the word squares. OK, let's take a look. Find rectangles and count the area. So I'm going to take a look at the shape and I can see one rectangle here. And I'm going to count the area of that rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
two, three, four. I'm going to write that four. Then I'm going to look for another rectangle. I can find, I can see another one here. So that's one, two. And then I can see another rectangle here. One, two. Great. Hmm. So I've done that one. Now I'm going to place a dot in the middle. Once counted, I've done that one. Once all the rectangles have been found, count remaining whole and half squares. Now I don't have any more holes, but I've got halves. So I know that two halves equal one whole, so that's one. That's another one, that's two. That's three, and that's four. Great, so I know that four plus two equals six, plus two equals eight, plus four equals 12. So I know that the area of this rectilinear shape is 12 squares. Now, perhaps you didn't see those triangle, uh, those rectangles, and that's okay, because perhaps what you saw was this one. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Now, there aren't any more. There's just one square there, so that's one, plus another one here. That's one. Sorry, that's supposed to be a dot. Now, let me count all of the other triangles. One, two, three, four. Great. Okay, so I know that I know that six and four is ten because um, my number bonds, and then one plus one equals twelve. So although I've actually counted different rectangles, the area is still the same. So what I would like you to do now is to complete this, um, it's use. I'd like you to either write the area below or on the side, either by, um, by counting the squares. When you've finished, um, then uh, um, press pause. Good job. So I look forward to um, you uploading that to Seesaw. And let's move on to the next part, which is just a little trickier. Okay, so here we have some uh, some more rectilinear shapes. Now they're not quite looking a little bit strange, aren't they? Hmm. So let's take a look. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find different rectangles or squares so that it will make it easier for me to count. So they're actually the same shape. I'm going to start with this one here. It's a really big rectangle. I'm going to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So that's 12. And I can see another rectangle, also known as a square in this case. One, two, three, four, plus four. And the area is 16. Okay, so, and again, let me do that with the same shape, but perhaps you've seen different rectangles or shapes. So I'm going to divide my shape into squares or rectangles. Here we go, that's one. And then that's another one. And then I'm going to count all squares in the first shape and I'm going to place a dot in it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. And then I'm going to count squares in the second shape and place, it, uh, place a dot in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus ten. I'm going to add both shapes. Great. Six plus ten equals sixteen. And then I'm going to remember to put my unit of measurement, which is squares. As you can see, the area of the shapes are exactly the same, 16, but we've measured different rectangles doing it. And again, that's OK. So um, let's do the Loch Ness Monster. So let's take a look at our steps to success. OK, so can you tell me what's the first step to success? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to divide my shape into different rectangles and squares. So I can see uh, 
three different rectangles. OK, now I'm going to count the squares in the first shape and I'm going to place a dot in the middle. Now here you can't actually see the um, squares. If I were to draw an imaginary line, you can see all of the different squares. Most of the time they should have squares. In this case, it doesn't. Just makes it a little bit easier if I draw them in. Okay. And so the first one is one, two. How many? Great. And the second one? One, two. Great. The third one? Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Okay, so the answer, two plus two equals four, plus eight equals 12 squares. Well done. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's take a look at this one. It's quite interesting. We're going to use subtraction to calculate area. Here, if I look at this, this kind of looks a little bit like a rectangle. So this shape here, can you see it? Yeah, looks a little bit like a rectangle. Now, I can calculate the area of this rectangle, as you know, by counting the squares, or I can also count or multiply this, the um, two sides. So this has one, two, three, four, Five, if you can see, squares, yep. Yeah. And then it has one, two, three, four. On this side, one, two, three, four. So the area of the entire rectangle is 20. However, I'm sure you've noticed that we have two squares that are missing. So what we're going to do is subtract those two from the whole area of this rectangle, and that will give us the total area of the shape. So let's practice here. Here's our steps of success. If the shape is a rectangle or square, calculate the area by either counting squares or multiplying sides. So here I'm going to, I think I'm going to count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, and forty-two. Okay, so we have forty-two squares in total. I must also count the two that are missing. Now what I need to do is take away the number of squares that are missing. So we have one, two squares, take away two. And so therefore the answer is, absolutely, the answer is 40 squares. Okay, let's try that again. So, let's see. Right. Hmm. I'm going to multiply this time, I think. So, I'm going to check to see how many columns we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And how many rows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, now I'm going to multiply that. Six times seven. Now, hmm, I'm not too confident with my six or my seven times tables. If you're not confident with your times tables, then you can always write them on the side. So six, and then you can count on six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, twelve plus six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Now I know my six times table, so I'm going to write six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. Okay, now I'm going to count to seven, six times seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 40 
two. Oh, that was difficult. Right, have I finished? No, I need to do this now. So now subtract the number of squares missing. How many squares do we have missing within this rectangle? Tell me. One, two, absolutely two. So 42 take away two equals 40. Absolutely. 40, what they? Bananas? Tables? Christmas presents? 40. Perfect. Absolutely right. Okay. So again, you can either multiply or you can count the squares. I'm going to do it one last time. This time I'm going to count the squares again. I'd like you to count with me. I'm not going to say it. You're going to say it and you're going to tell me what to do. So what's the first thing that I need to do? Good, I'm going to count the squares. What must I do so that I know that I've counted the squares? Yep, I'm going to put a dot in the middle. So count out aloud. How many squares were there? Good, there are 30. Now what do I need to do? Can you tell me? Good, we need to find out how many missing squares there are. There are one, two. What do I need to do, do with those two? Yeah, you're right. You need to take them away. 32, 30 take away two equals 28, good. And then what must I always remember? My measurement. And what's my measurement? Excellent. Squares. Great. Um, OK, I think you guys know what you are going to do. If you need to um, pause the video for steps to success, please do that. And can you continue with your independent work? Don't forget that you need to upload it onto Seesaw and we very much look forward to seeing what you've accomplished today. Great job, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.